Uh, a little 2015 mm -hmm. double back Cabernet Sauvignon. What a life we're living, huh? You know what? Life doesn't suck. It does not suck. Oh, wait. Did you think when you were on the ground and you were completely uncertain about your future and this was going to be the result? No, I had no idea. I mean, this whole thing... This whole thing's been an adventure, you know. I mean, I, I grew up right here, you know. I, I grew up uh, in Walla Walla, and, and like most kids, you know, I dreamed of playing in the NFL. But from, it's not really a reality, you know, living out here. And then I got to um, play 14 years of quarterback in the NFL. So that was outside the realm of possibility, and wine was not even on the radar. Um, but then to be able to come back home and start a business and, and make wine that, that we really believe holds its own with uh, with any wine in the world, um, you know, uh, just you know, you don't, you don't, you don't plan that stuff. You don't dream it. Um, but to have it, that all happen, um, it's been a heck of an adventure. It's been really fun. You're such a nice guy. Some might say that you uh, helped Tony Romo and uh, Tom Brady become quarterback. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, Pro Bowl quarterback. I, I, lo I, lo I love the, love those guys. What did you think when you heard uh, the young, skinny, lanky kid? comes into the office and is like, you know what, Mr. Kraft, I'm the best decision this organization ever made. I didn't hear that until many years later. Um, and, uh, you know, it doesn't mean anything when you're, when you're, uh, you know, on the practice squad. Uh, but then when he, he went, when Tommy has gone on to, uh, uh, to play such exceptional football for so many years and be such a great leader for that organization, now it looks prophetic. Back then it was just noise. You know, the, the, the trick is to be outwardly humble, but if you truly are going to take the field and you don't think you're the best guy on the field, then you shouldn't go on the field. You know, I, 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 was, always, I was always fairly humble for the most part, but if you heard what was going on in my head when I took the field, you wouldn't think I was very humble. You, you, you just, you're just not supposed to say it. You want to, you want to go walk through the vineyard? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. We need more wine, though. Are Cabernet grapes, yes? Cabernet grapes uh, planted back in 2007 with our own loving hands. We got out here, my wife and I got out here with the uh, kiddos. We were mostly in the way. There was a team of people that really knew what they were doing, but we got out here and planted vines with our own hands. So you went back to Boston uh, last week. You were there for the, uh, for the Celtics game. Right. Did the press conference. Did the press conference. It had been a little while since I'd been on the, uh, uh, on the podium for a, uh, for a press conference, so that was fun to go back and touch that again. Do you feel like, like riding a bike? You just fell off. You get right back on. Uh, yeah, it's not very hard. You know, you, you go up there after a, after a victory, and even if you're you're not responsible for it, you're just a fan. Uh, that's easy. You know, the the press conferences when it doesn't go your way, those ones were the ones that sucked. So this one was pretty fun because the Celtics and uh, my buddy uh, Terry Rozier, uh, they're playing great basketball. What's your prediction? Uh, my, my prediction is Celtics in six. I think in the six. You enjoy going back to Boston. I mean, you're essentially a, I mean, you are you are a celebrity. But yeah. You always get a warm welcome. Yeah, it's fun to go back to Boston. You know, it's a different relationship now, though. Uh, it, 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 it like it feels like I'm going back to see my friends. You know, and I, like most of the most of the fans that were fans of the Patriots when I was when I was there, they're they're a little older. Like I'm a little older, and they see me, and it's not like a big deal. Hey, I gotta get an autograph. It's just say, like, Hey, Drew, how you doing, man? Good to see you. You know, to have this whole thing happen with Terry, and have that happen now. All of a sudden, there's some of my old jerseys that people went and found in the back of their closet that are showing up at the garden. Um, so that whole thing is really fun, man. It's it's good to be remembered, and it's uh, and it's fun to go back and be a part of it again. And you never considered, or really, I guess not considered, you never had any fear of your kids playing football with all the CT crisis going yeah. on now and the concussions and and I mean you were, you know better than anybody. I got knocked around. I got knocked around quite a bit, um, and uh, had you know a lot of a lot of head impact. My my head injury file is really thick, uh, but so far you know I've I've made it through. Um, and, you know, to be honest with you, I really feel like the rewards you get from being a part of a team like that, um, you know, it's worth the risk. 
And the other part of it is, if my kids weren't playing football, they'd be doing something else dangerous. Mm -hmm. You know, they'd be they'd be on uh, mountain bikes, they'd be on skis. You know, ultimately, if you really if you're just going to wrap them in bubble tape uh, and not let them do anything, um, that's more dangerous than it is letting them. Uh, participate in stuff. The really screwed up thing to me is, is that, that somebody finally published the control for all the stats they throw out about pro athletes, about pro football players. Statistically, retired pro football players are less likely to commit suicide. They have less incidents of domestic violence. They have less incidents of financial distress than the general population. But that's not sensationalism, you know. So the sensationalism, well, it's a football problem. Well, no, it's a societal problem, and uh, yeah. you're trying to make it into a football problem to place blame someplace other than society, and so it frustrates me. Hey, can we throw this bootleg Scary Terry uh, sweatshirt in the pit and just yeah, sure. throw it up in flames? Wait, so you're telling me that this one's not legit? I it's told boot, you like two or three times. It's bootleg. Well, I guess I guess it just goes in the fire then. Oh well. That's it. Light that bad boy up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he goes back and gets it. <laughs> Just kidding, I still want it. <laughs> yeah. he's, it's funny, he's, he's one of those, he's one of those people, there's certain guys that you play for that you will just always call coach. You know, like Mike Price that I played for in college, I'll always call him coach. I can't call him Mike. Um, and uh, and Mr. Kraft, he's always Mr. Kraft to me. But he's been, he's continued to be a great friend and, and uh, mentor and uh, and just a guy that I really look up, really look up to. Do you and your wife ever go on a double date with him and his, uh, uh, let's say. His girlfriend? Yeah, how old, maybe 29, 30? Yeah, no, this, we no, point? no, we haven't. No. We haven't yet. Uh, <laughs> is the baby his? <laughs> I, that's something I have no knowledge of. One way, <laughs> no knowledge of one way or the other. I had to try. I yeah, mean, yeah no, you, you got to ask the question. Yeah, no, I. Uh, if I did know, uh, I wouldn't tell you. Uh, but in this, oh, that means in, you know. Oh, that means the, you know. In this, in this, in this instance, I, I don't know, and so I still can't tell you. So there you go. If you could go back to, let's say, 25-year-old Drew, what would you tell him? 25-year-old Drew, what would I tell him? Um, I would say make, you know, just make, sure you, make sure you take care of your body. Make sure you, uh, uh, you know, save your nickels. I know. Put it this way, and I, I don't want this to sound, I, want, I super don't want this to sound the wrong way. I, I really wouldn't change a lot. okay for yourself Drew? So far so good. Still trying to figure it out but haven't completely fucked it up yet. Stay tuned.